What we got? All right, Jim Ozarski, start us off. Hey, thanks, Eric. Hey, Giannis. Um, can, you, can you walk us through, I guess, the, the final two possessions there? It looked like, uh, at least from my vantage point, that, that you got a good contest on on Tatum and then obviously the lob. What uh, what did you see? How did it play out from your eyes? Um, you know, obviously, going down the stretch, um, I think uh, we were able to get a good shot by, you know, by Chris. Did not make that one, but it was a good look. We live with that. Coming down, um, in the last position that they had, you know, Tatum was actually in the, you know, in the in the wing. Did his usually move, step back. I was right there, contest. I felt pretty good. I saw the ball going really high, so I was like happy about it. But you know, basketball gods reward them, you know, and uh, he he made it. Uh, so in the other side of the play. I told, I told, uh, I had the ball out of bounds first and I wanted to throw it high to Brooke, but uh, coach called the timeout. And then I told Drew, just throw the ball high, just throw it high and try to go get it. We have 0 0.4 seconds. Just if you don't see if Chris is not wide open, if that is not wide open, I think, no, not that Pat's not wide open. Just throw the ball high and try to go get it. Um, probably made the first one, missed the second one. Uh, but, you know, that was it. Um, you had said in the preseason uh, that you were looking to just shoot the ball, be confident, shoot it. You saw yourself make a few threes, especially some turnaround jumpers. Was this a good example of that for you, of, of just being confident and taking those shots when they came to you? Uh, I'm just trying to be confident. I've, I've worked on it, you know, and um, I'm older now. You know, there's no nothing to second guess. Uh, the shot that I've done over and over and over again, I've made a thousand makes of it. And, you know, I'm confident enough. My teammates want, want me to shoot it. I want to shoot it. Uh, my team wants me to shoot it. So if it's there, I'm going to take it. Um, obviously, I got to get back to my rhythm. I played only two games, no pickup ball. We had a week and a half of practice, but it's not the same. Uh, it's not the same as the game. I gotta get my rhythm back. I gotta be able to, you know, find my teammates. And um, when I'm open, just shoot it. Eric, name. I'm trying to go through kind of everything in my brain. I don't think you've been in a situation with a free throw lay like that all that many times in your career. Can you kind of just take me through what it is like to step the line? You know, you have two. You gotta tie the game. Um. Same thing, you know, you got you got two free throws. Um, I haven't been a lot in that situation. I've been down the stretch uh, making uh, free, uh, free throws. But uh, um, you know that if you miss, that's it. You know, and obviously, like, you know, I'm upset about it. and But you can't change it, so it's done. You know, I, I missed the, miss the second one. Um, hopefully, when I'm in the same position, I can make, I can make the next one. And uh, that's the mentality you got to have. But obviously, you know, there's, uh, there's a little bit of weight on your shoulder because, you know, if you miss, that's it for your team. And, you know, I'm a winner. I want to do whatever it takes for my team to win. Uh, but, you know, you learn from every every situation that uh, basketball puts you in. Is, is that a fun situation for you? Like, like I'm, I, I literally can't think of many times that you've had that, where you get that situation stepped in line with that, like the game on the line. Uh, fun it's fun because you learn from it you know and uh the more you're in situation like that the more you can uh succeed you know uh the more you can get the best out of uh, uh moments like that so i want to be in those moments you know i want to be down the stretch i want to shoot the la two last free throws i want to shoot the last shot because if you think about it, if you do that a thousand times some of the times it's going to go in you know, some, some of the times you're going to be the hero and uh, some of the times you you won't miss, but uh, you learn from it. Zora Stevenson. Just continuing to go off of that, you said, you know, obviously game on the line, you felt this like weight on your shoulders because if you miss one, what do you tell yourself to get that weight off, right? Like half of free throws is just mental. What do you do to just calm yourself down and just shoot it and not think about it? I just, you want me to say what I think in my mind? Yeah, yeah. So I take the ball, I say one, two, three, four, five dribbles. Set the ball in your chin, shoot it high. 
that's what I said to myself over and over and over again. And uh, I don't think about the rest, you know, but afterwards, when you think about it, you're like, okay, shit, like, you know, there was two free throws. I could give my, uh, my team a chance to uh, get back to the game. And I didn't, uh, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of hurts, but you learn from it. And uh, it's not, then you think about the game and not, try, not trying to make excuses or anything. I'm not that type of guy, but, Think about the game, but how do you get, how do we get to that situation? You know, uh, third quarter, we wasn't uh, good enough closing out the third quarter. Then we had the, we had the lead and the, then Taylor made the tough, tough, tough three. You know what I'm saying? Then we got to this situation. Um, how can we improve? How can we not put ourselves in this situation? Um, and how can we learn from um, the game? Tim Bontemps. Hey, Anis, I was curious, what changed for you in the fourth quarter? I think you had 18 of your 35 points in the fourth quarter in terms of you seemingly being a lot more aggressive. And uh, secondly, you and Chris and Giannis, or uh, Drew, I'm sorry, all played 36 or more minutes tonight. Do you expect to play more minutes this year? And if so, are you excited about that? I'm really excited about it. Uh, I think I'm going to play more minutes this year. Um, you know, that's one of the conversations that, uh, you know, I had with uh, Coach Bud that, you know, I want to play more minutes. I want to compete. I want to get in shape uh, through the season. Uh, but going down the stretch, it was just my, my second win. You know, this is my first away game since the bubble. Um, I played two preseason games, did not play in the last one. You know, obviously I was really excited. Sometimes when you're really excited, you just get out of breath fast. Uh, I was able to, you know, slow down get to my spots, um, shoot the shots that I want to shoot, find my teammates, and uh, everything was just it just slowed down. Uh, and I was just trying to be aggressive because we were down 17, and uh, I was just trying to be aggressive to put my team back to the game. When you, say, when you Real quick, honest, when you say that you want to get in shape, is that because of the way the, kind of the preseason and stuff has played out, or is that to be in better position for the playoffs in terms of playing more minutes? Why is that something you're excited about doing? I'm excited. I'm excited to play more minutes. I want to play. Uh, I don't think there's a player in the NBA that doesn't want to play more minutes. Uh, but yeah, it's going. It's going to help me get in shape. Like we've practiced a, uh, a week and a half, and I've played two preseason games, and I want to play games. I, like I, I want to work my game. I want to do, not work on my game against only my my teammates. Work on my game against you know other players. Um, see what I can do. Uh, see how I can. I, get to my spot, how can I find my teammates? Uh, and the more you're uh, on the floor, the better you learn, the better uh, you're able to get to your spots. Uh, and I'm just excited because this is gonna, you know, it's a buildup, it's a buildup because when you go to the playoffs, which is, the playoffs is 71 games away. The playoffs is six months away from now. So, but at the end of the day, I take it day by day. And I know that this is gonna help me, put me in a good position to be, to be ready, you know, and uh, physically, mentally, and, you know, if I have to play 45 minutes, I'm going to be ready. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, Giannis. Thank you, guys.